one of those Republicans, Congressman Tom Cole of Oklahoma. Congressman, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Tell us why you voted uh, in favor of this uh, legislation. So many of your Republican colleagues, as you know, voted against it. Well, you know, while uh, my colleagues and I certainly have the same aims, I've never thought shutting down the government was uh, likely to be a good tactic. Number one, it hurt the American people, and I think there's a lot uh, too much discussion up here about, uh, frankly, who gets the blame instead of who gets hurt. And second, I didn't think it was going to be successful. So, I, you know, I pointed out at home, I consistently voted to keep the government open or to reopen uh, as many parts of it uh, as we could. And when an opportunity came up to accomplish that and to protect the full faith and credit of the United States, something that both parties actually agree on, uh, I took it. And I think that's moved us to a better position as a country and, and certainly as a party. You probably could have had that vote uh, early on, uh, even before the government shut down, uh, certainly within a day or two afterwards, that so-called clean continuing resolution for all practical purposes. This was fairly clean, except for some extraneous measures that were thrown in. We can discuss that later. But uh, was it a mistake to go 16 days into this government shutdown, and well, knowing I've what we now know? I would have preferred uh, dealing with this earlier and actually recommended that to my conference. But, you know, sometimes a good fight clears the air a little bit. And, uh, you know, this uh, hopefully will do that. Uh, we're now at a negotiating table. Uh, we've got serious negotiators. Obviously, we have tremendous differences. But it's an opportunity to, to make things work and find some common ground. So uh, I hope that's where we'll go. Uh, certainly, that's, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that's the direction we move in. That's certainly what happened after the government shutdowns in 95-96 when Bill Clinton was president, Newt Gingrich was speaker in the immediate aftermath of that 20-plus day shutdown in early 1996. They did manage to get their act together. They passed some significant legislation. Are you that confident that this president, this Republican leadership in Congress can do the same thing that Bill Clinton and Newt Gingrich did then? Well, I think the elements for a deal are there, both in the Ryan budget and the president's budget. Uh, I think uh, we've got some pretty good people on both sides of the aisle at the table. The real question is going to be whether there's the will and the skill there to actually get the job done. But, uh, you know, life is about challenges. This is a challenge I hope that we can meet, and uh, shame on us if we don't. Because country doesn't need another government shutdown, certainly doesn't need uh, a uh, default. So uh, let's just do what we know we need to do, sit down and find common ground, negotiate a deal. I actually think from a Republican standpoint, we're on very strong ground here with the sequester uh, being something, honestly, that both sides want to get rid of. And uh, with the president having put uh, some entitlement reform in his budget, I can see the elements for a deal here and uh, I hope uh, we can keep working and find that deal. I hope you're right, uh, but you know, uh, frankly, the Paul Ryan budget versus the Patty Murray budget, Patty Murray, the chair of the Senate Budget Committee, Paul Ryan, the chair of the House Budget Committee, they have to find some common ground. Uh, Paul Ryan voted against the legislation last night. Uh, you think that's doable? I, I do. Actually, I think they're both consummate professionals, and I think Senator Murray said it pretty well this morning. She said, you know, Paul Ryan knows I'm not going to vote for his budget, and I know he's not going to vote for mine, so we better find something in between. I think uh, if that's the attitude that both sides come to the table with, then we'll have the opportunity to do that. And look, the stakes are simply too important. We need to, to seriously begin to deal with the deficit. We're not going to solve it all. The differences are great. Uh, but the country needs, I think, a period of quiet and calm. I think that would be good for the economy, be good for the political system and the political process. So, uh, you know, all I can say is I'm going to give it my best shot. I know my colleagues on my side of the aisle feel the same way, and I trust that uh, Senator Murray's do as well. One final question before I let you go, Congressman. You're close to the speaker, John Boehner. How is he dealing with what has happened over these past 16 days? You know, I think John Boehner actually is a, a big winner in this in terms of the conference. Uh, people always see him as a skillful negotiator and legislative leader, but uh, some of our folks that haven't been around very long didn't know what a fighter he was. And so I think, uh, you know, even people that, uh, you know, might have disagreed with the fight admire.
qualities he showed, and he kept his conference together. Uh, he pushed to the very end for the things the conference wanted to accomplish. And frankly, I see him as much more popular today within his own ranks and much more able to influence them than perhaps uh, was the case uh, two or three weeks ago. So, you know, he's a very tough guy, very resilient guy, a very upbeat guy. So I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of the way he conducted himself. And uh, I think it's probably going to pay dividends not only for him but for the conference and much more importantly for the country, which I know is what he wants to do going forward. Representative Tom Cole of Oklahoma. Congressman, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Wolf. Obama.